listening audience, I would like to speak to you just a minute about something that's passionate to me, and that's faith. Uh, Hebrews talks about faith being the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things that's not seen. Our faith is so important to us for it's the foundation of our biblical belief. I look at uh, Daniel chapter number three with the three Hebrew boys as, as being men of great faith. With all opposition against them, they hung on to their belief. Now we look at this and analyze this as, as just as it is. They had their dictator, Nebuchadnezzar, against them. They had everyone else against them. They had the laws and the government against them. But their faith was in God. And our faith has to be rooted and grounded in God so that no matter who says what, we believe in God. No matter what law, no matter uh, family, friends, loved ones turn against you, we must remember that God is our foundation. And we believe in Him. We believe that God is and that He exists and nothing else can change our mind. The three beat Hebrew boys found themselves in a situation where it was life or death, and they chose to die for their belief. But we all know the story that even though they were thrown in the fiery furnace, that when Nebuchadnezzar looked back in the fiery furnace, he had to ask his own uh, cabinet, did not we throw three men in the fire? But I'm looking now and I see a fourth man walking around in the fire, and the fourth has the resemblance of the Son of God. Can you just imagine the three Hebrew boys, what was going on in their mind while they were walking around in the fire. Even more, can you imagine the three Hebrew boys when they came out of the fire? Oh, they were walking with their chest stuck out because they knew that their God, the God that they believed in, who was able to deliver, did just what he had promised. He brought them out. So listen, even though they were in the fire, they were not sitting down. Now this is where you come in. You're going through your trials and your tribulations. No need to stand there, to sit there and with your head hung down, woe is me and everything against me. Do what the Hebrew boys did. Back in the scripture, the Hebrew boys, it's recorded that the Hebrew boys were not sitting there in the fire, but they were walking around in the fire. So when those trials and those tribulations come upon you, don't just sit there. You got to get up and walk it out. You got to get up and walk. If you have to walk the floor and pray at night, if you got to walk the floor and talk to your God, get up, do something. Put your faith in operation. Believe that you're gonna come out of this. The Hebrew boys begin to walk around in the fire and the, 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 uh, the Bible records that the ropes, the fire burn them off. They had such great faith that they knew that God that they served, even if he didn't deliver them, that he was able. But the story goes on that God did deliver them. And they came out as champions so much that the government, Nebuchadnezzar himself, made a decree that if he catch anyone not serving the God of the three Hebrew boys, that they would be put to death. I call them champions of faith. I call you today a champion of faith. My last words to you, walk it out. Don't just sit there and settle for everything that the enemy has thrown your way. Get up and begin to walk it out. Your faith will deliver you from your fiery furnace. God bless and may heaven smile upon you is my prayer.